G'day everyone, Raid Zero AU, and welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival Alpha 2. This is episode 16, and um, this will be part 2 of our small vessel build. I've just been down here just making a few items. Um, I've done a bit, bit of work off camera on the uh, small vessel, um, as it was pretty ugly, I'd have to say. I think, uh, I think it's improved. Um, I saw one of the comments where it was mentioned uh, it's not ugly, it's unique. Well, it was definitely that. But uh, I've done a bit of work on us, and hopefully it looks a bit better. Here we go. That's what it looks like now. So I'll just run you through what I've done. The uh, that's a fuel tank on the side there. That's just there for um, testing purposes. So I'll run you through what I've done on it. So effectively what I did was, it's exactly the same base that we had last time, but what I did was I extended it out each side by three blocks. So, on each each of these sides, and then, uh, and then squared those off, and then added on um, the angled blocks here. And then, up the top here, basically this is still the five across and just added some sloped blocks there just to uh, round that off that blue block there is just uh, to tell me where the front center front was and then what I've done is uh, underneath all this whoop, sort of because we've got four layers of blocks is where all the engines and things like that are so I could probably show you that So down under here, we've got the generator, that's the generator there, we've got um, the engines and the thrusters and things like that, or the th thrusters and things like that there. So we'll just add that back in. And uh, redesign the uh, cockpit area here, basically what I needed to do, get rid of that block so you can see it, what I needed to do was I needed to drop down the... Um, the cockpit so that's actually sitting right on top of the the core so it's actually two blocks down and you'll find when I sit in it that gives us a better look and also I found when I when I exit it it drops me straight out the back here the only thing I wasn't happy with was basically I managed to do all this but this top layer of glass here Obviously it's sitting up a bit, it's sitting proud of the rest of it and uh, the reason being that you can't drop it down so that it's the same level as these ones because the cockpit gets in the way. So not overly happy with that, it's a, it's a little thing but it's just a little bit annoying. Um, the other thing is hopefully at some point the devs give us some uh, some textures. so we can add some cockpit textures in here um, and you can see here that I've used the uh, rounded blocks on the inside just to give it a nicer shape I suppose and then actually what I'll do is we'll just power it up because it's on a slope it has a tendency to uh, move backwards every time you power it up or when you lift off And you'll see underneath, basically all I've done is exactly the same as the top. But you'll see here I've got three thrusters pointing down now. And the reason being that once I added all these extra blocks and things like that, I couldn't lift off. It was uh, too, there was just, uh, it was too heavy for one thruster. So I added a second thruster and tried that and still wasn't overly happy with the, um, the speed it was lifting off so I've added a third one and that feels a bit better um, also I've added obviously you saw there the uh, landing gear on it and um, I found that the sideways movement on it because of the weight now was a little bit sluggish as well so up here it's it's in the underneath these blocks here I've added a thruster pointing that way, like a normal thruster pointing that way, 
Actually, I think they're the armored thrusters, and an armored thruster pointing that way, just to uh, just to assist with that. And um, yeah, so that's kind of where we are now. Um, one thing I can do is take the fuel out of here. Get rid of that. So now we want to start putting in the things we need. So I'm thinking uh, So you see thrusters down here. Uh, and I added uh, some extra thrusters going back as well because it was a little bit sluggish moving forward because of the weight. So that's what that would be there. Uh, that would be another one going backwards. I've done the same on the other side. So, what we want to do, get rid of that. Uh, we need to put the oxygen in, oxygen station. That'll do for starters. Now, because of the extra thrusters, it uses a lot more fuel, so... So I'm putting in four fuel tanks, just to give us, uh, give us a decent amount of range on it. Okay. And then, uh, what we could do is we could put the oxygen station at the back here. Just rotate that. That can go in there. Get up there. And we'll just put an oxygen tank on each side. Putting it on top of a thruster there, but I'm not that bothered. Uh, do I want to... Thinking about putting it like that, so at least it says O2. Maybe rotate that one around so that it... in the same way. Alright, so that gives us some oxygen with an oxygen station so we can... Uh, we can fill our oxygen up when we need it. Now, next thing. Uh, we've got two ammo boxes. Two cargo boxes. Right, these can go next to the uh, next to the fuel. So we want to put ammo box and then cargo box. We'll do the same on this side. those in. Okay. Right, so, we'll do our guns in a minute. Spotlight cube, and we need to put a fridge in to want to carry some, uh, some food with us. Uh, don't necessarily want to put up next to that and might rotate that so it's looking up now spotlights um, I guess we put the spotlights at the front here and 
there, and there. We need to add the guns in. Right. So. Now normally what I would do is uh, sort of recess the guns in. But I'm thinking this time probably not going to do that. can do is take that block out, take that block out, and we just put a normal block in like that, and then I'm going to put these in. recess those back here it's a little bit or do we want to just put them next to nah don't really want to put them right next to to those um, um, or do we want to put them out here Probably put them out there. We can work on. See that one there. My level. Don't think that's level, is it? Or is it? Ah. Yeah, it's level. All right. So what can we do with that? Um. We do that. Come out. Go in there. That one there. Don't know. Do we have something that will actually fill that? Don't think that will do it. The other blocks in the way. So we need to put something in here. Um, yeah, that'll do it. Possibly be it. This one's a bit different because it's an angle that way, so makes it a bit harder to do. Although, do we need to? Probably don't need to, to be honest. Don't get fall off. What we could do though is just to round this off. We could add a corner in. Just like that. See what that looks like from a distance. Yeah, that's okay. Right, just do the same on the other side. 
Alright, so I can remember what I did now. Uh, so block and block, yep, yeah. okay. So put a normal block and this one comes out. Normal block in there. That's where we then put the We then put one of these. And those. We stuck one of those there. Corner, round that one off just for a corner. There we go. All right. Not too bad. Alright, so what we can now do is we need to start filling our stuff with, so one side, this side I'm just going to have bullets, this side is the missiles, haven't got much oxygen, it's okay, it should be uh, easily fixed. Uh, Put some more there. there go. Keep creating the oxygen for me. Fill that with oxygen. That one with oxygen. Let's put some fuel in. be needing to go and get some Promethium because uh, supplies are running a little low which is not ideal hop in here uh, let's group auto group everything alright so weapons alright just zoom out a bit. Take it for a test run. There's our lights. Uh, we're on the rocket launchers at the moment, so we'll just reload those. And then we're on the miniguns, we'll reload those. Okay. Take it for a bit of a test run. Yeah. That. Now we've got the uh, barrier here. This thing here has got a long range, so let's see. Spaceport. Let's swap back to our rocket, so let's. Well, <laughs> what's your attitude? Oh, 
Ooh. Ow. 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 Need to get rid of this thing. Come on. That was the one that was causing me no end of trouble. Good. We got we got rid of all the uh, all the defences on there. So basically, what we can do is we can come over and probably in the next episode, I think, because uh, time's getting on on this episode. Uh, come over and check that out. The base is just over here. So our speed thirty nine. Still a little bit sluggish going sideways, so I'm just strafing sideways. There feels a, still feels a little bit sluggish, so thinking we what we might actually need to put another um, another couple of thrusters in there just for the speed. So I was having trouble there. Um, sort of it was those. The AI in the game does lead your vehicle, so uh, they're pretty good shots when it comes to hitting you. But normally, you can, uh, with a bit of maneuverability, you can you can dodge a lot of their attacks. So remembering also that this is turned into quite a large vehicle. So. So I'm thinking I might need to add another thruster sideways on each side, just to um, just to provide that maneuverability. Now they got quite a few good hits off on that, so check out what the damage is. Just bring it in as close as I can. So at least we can see a little bit. Yeah, so you can see this took. Didn't look like I lost anything. Took quite a few hits though. So. It'll take a bit of repairing, I think. Good that we didn't lose anything though. As far as I can tell, the uh, the AI always tends to aim for the core. So because I'm sitting on top of the core, I know the AI is going to be aiming straight at me. Now whether that's uh, that should be a little bit helpful as far as uh, being able to dodge, but we'll wait and see. But I definitely think I need to add those two extra thrusters in, so I'll do that off camera. It's really just a matter of breaking out a few blocks and uh, and adding those in. Guns took a fair bit of hit, fair number of hits there. There goes our timer. Rockets didn't take too many hits. Underside doesn't seem to have taken any hits. But 
Put it up the top here. Yeah, this stuff here took a fit. Yeah. Definitely going to need to do something about um, maneuverability. Lost the block here. There we go. Yep, lost some blocks in here. Yeah, well, I'll replace those off camera. Yeah, I lost the odd block here and there, up the top here. I'm getting some good hits off. Lose any of the equipment. Uh, cargo box took a hit. Ammo box took a hit. Clear oxygen. No, no, no. All of that took a hit. No. Fuel tanks didn't take a hit. Lost one of my windows. It's okay, it's easily replaced. Alright. Well. There you have it, guys. So that's the uh, small vessel. Just need to uh, probably just add another thruster going sideways. Probably about here or something like that. Um... Or I could even add it here or something. So, I don't know. I'll work that out. Um, the first test run and uh, not entirely successful. We took quite a bit of damage, as you've seen up here. But uh, functional, functional and not nothing that can't be uh, improved upon just with a bit of, a little bit of tinkering, a little bit of fine tuning on it. And um, yeah, so I think in the next episode what we'll do is uh, we will head back over to that spaceport and we will go and check it out on foot. Uh, we'll take our, um, take our hover vessel over there. So there you have it. The, we've now got our uh, small vessel functional. And, um, yeah, happy with that. So, I'm going to call the video here. Hopefully you've enjoyed what you've seen. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe. Look forward to seeing you all next time. I'm Raid Zero AU, signing out.